so let us now see the numerical for conversion of context free grammar to pda so let us construct a pda now for strings with more a's than b's if you remember we have also constructed this particular pda of more a's than b's in deterministic pda but now we have going to construct this with help of the concept of converting a grammar into a pda okay so what is this language basically mathematically this language is constructing of all strings x such that x belongs to a comma b star so your alphabet is a comma b star where the number of a's in x are greater than number of b's in x so nowhere it is mentioned here nowhere it is mentioned here that the a's and b's are coming in which sequence right so a and b can come at any position it is not like a raised to n b raised to m so a's will come first and then b's will come so it is just that the number of a's are greater than number of b's so the symbols can come at any position so first we need to construct grammar for this first we need to construct grammar for this. what is the first step you need to construct grammar for this because we have to convert grammar into pda so what we need to do we need to write grammar for this so grammar for this see we all know that number of a's should be more than number of b's correct so for getting more number of a's we should have a symbol for repeating a's right so how we can repeat a we all know that if i want one a i can write only a if i want two a's i can write a s followed by a if i want three a two a s followed by a so this particular grammar production rule will help me to repeat any number of a's this particular grammar will help me to repeat any number of a's now these a's are going to come with b correct so if i get one b minimum i should get two a's so that is the basic agenda that i will maintain a's more than b's if i am getting one b i should add minimum two a's so one a always will be kept extra for that matter right and if i am having more number of a's again we can repeat that more number of a's with help of this a s and a so where this a will come so either i'll get b first followed by a's correct so if i am having string like b a a you're getting this so this will be replaced by a this will be replaced by a if i want to repeat more number of a's i can repeat that with this one i can have a first and then b so s s b and i can also have a before b and a after b so s b s so s is a pattern for repeating a's correct s is a pattern for repeating a's so this s has to terminate with this a only terminating symbol is compulsory a so with one b minimum two a's with with one b minimum two a's with with one b with minimum two a's with and if we want more number of a's we can do it with this one this is how we try to maintain more a's than b's with help of a context free grammar okay so in this grammar what is our non terminal symbol non terminal symbol is s what is our non terminal symbol it is s what is our terminal symbol it is a and b what is our terminal symbol it is a and b what is our starting symbol of grammar it is s starting symbol of grammar is s and these are our production rule s gives a as or bss or ssp or sbs now we need to write the pda for this now we need to write pda for this so let us write that pda in the form of a table okay so state input that we have to process stack symbol and the move that we have and this is the move number okay so for the resultant uh, pda we all know there will be only three states how many states will be there there will be only three states what are those three states q0 q1 and q2 based on the definition which we have seen in the last video right what will be our alphabet 
alphabet will be a and b it is same as terminal symbol it will be a and b initial state will be q0 initial state will be q0 accepting state will be q2 delta we are writing now delta we are writing now right so let us write those so three states are there so what is the first move we will be in q0 state we will be in q0 state we have studied that we will process null z0 as top of stack what was the first part of the definition we are going to move q1 s z0 so we are going to push s on the top of stack right and we are going to go to state q1 this was there as our first rule in the definition which we have seen in the last video correct q0 null z0 q1 comma s z0 what was the second rule for all the production rules for the non terminal symbols we are going to write the grammar how we are going to write c i i'll show you the trick you will be now in q1 state right you will be now in q1 state input that we will be processing in this particular example will be in the form of null and the stack symbol in this case now will be in the form of the non terminal symbol now what is non terminal symbol non terminal symbol in first production rule is s non terminal symbol in the first production rule is s right so what will be there on right hand side all your alphas so what are your alphas q1 comma alpha is a or q1 comma alpha is as or q1 comma alpha is bss or q1 comma alpha is ssb or q1 comma alpha is sbs so all production rules we are going to write now in our example we had only one production rule one non terminal right suppose if you have multiple suppose 1 2 3 if you have three production three non terminals so for each of those non terminals you are going to write this particular options so if i would have another say a gives something so here i'll have a and that something pattern will also be there in the form of moves so for all the non terminals for all the production rules we are going to write this so this move number 2 is corresponding to our rule number 2 which we have seen in the definition i hope you have understood the example now correct now third one third one was for all the terminal symbols we have to write pop condition now what are our terminal symbols a and b what are our terminal symbols a and b so we'll write pop conditions for those right and this will be written in the state q1 only right so q1 a a we'll write pop for a and q1 b b we'll write pop for b and what our what was our last rule q1 with null z0 will enter into accepting state q2 last so this is now our pda this is now our pda what is there into so z0 all terminal symbols and all non terminal symbols s a and b what is our initial stack symbol initial stack symbol is z0 which belongs to to so this is how we have constructed the seven tuple of pda capital q alphabet q0 a delta to z0 now let us solve one id notation for this so that you will understand how the strings are getting accepted with help of this also right so let us take some example okay suppose i'll take a string Uh, like a b a b and uh, a a suppose my string is a b a so number of a's are more than number of b's okay so for accepting this particular string how how you will solve grammar for this first so first let us see grammar how you will solve grammar for this a gives a gives s b s correct a gives s b s then this s gives a this s gives a then this s gives a s and this s gives a this is how we accept a b a a right so in the same way now we are going to put the 
uh, options while solving the id notation so id notation will start from q0 correct and then we'll have our string what is our string a b a a and starting symbol will be z0 we'll apply first condition we'll process null and we'll push s first and we'll go to q1 a b a a and we'll push s how we did this by first delta we processed null with z0 and we went to q1 and s z0 correct now here which option i'll apply look here what we have applied s gives s b s what we have applied s gives s b s so same will apply so q1 with s on top of stack q1 with s on top of stack. we have an option called as s b s that is this one so this delta i'm applying this delta i'm applying right so after i apply that delta this will become q1 comma a b a a s b s z0 then then his s gives a we have done same s gives a we can do using this particular delta so a b a a a b s z0 then now q1 a a pop condition q1 a a pop condition q1 b a a b s z0 again b b pop q1 a a s z0 now this s we did as a s q1 a a a s z0 again pop a s z0 again this s gives a a z0 q1 null z0 and in q1 null z0 we have q2 z0 q2 null z0 q2 belongs to a that's why the string is accepted so this is how we solve a problem for converting a context free grammar into a pda so i'll again repeat first for the given problem you are going to write a grammar you will write four tuple for that grammar correct first you will write grammar then you will write four tuple of that grammar based on that our number of states are fixed three alphabet is terminal symbol initial state is q0 accepting state is q2 then we are going to write delta first rule is fixed q0 null z0 is pushing s and going to q1 in second we will look at the grammar production rules that we have written for all the non terminal symbols in that particular grammar we are going to write production rules over here so here we have only one that's why we have only one production rule for s if we have here three production rules say s gives something a gives something b gives something so we'll have one for s one for a capital a one for capital b are you getting this right so for s we write all possible alphas here what are our alphas these a a s b s s s s b and s b s then third rule is for all terminal symbols how many terminal symbols are there two so two production rules we have written using third rule and those are for popping those symbols and finally null z0 entering into accepting state so for solving id notation first better to solve grammar acceptance using derivation the same process of derivation you can depict that with help of the id notation and finally our string will stand accepted